The Wild Center is interested in taking visual teaching strategies and what we've learned and creating a new framework for how science museums and natural history museums um, teach about science and look at objects and look at exhibits and look at the natural world in a new way. And it, this is a great model um, for feathers. that. And a name you'd give it is a horned owl, one idea. A great horned owl is one idea. Great, Max, what more can you find? I don't just flap its feathers because they're soft. Great, so you're looking at the feathers on the animal, you're saying they look It really, really soft. encourages the children to be active listeners. It encourages them to look at an object for a minute without talking, without making comments, so they're really observing. And and by listening to other people's comments, it inspires or sparks ideas in them. What do you notice, <gasps> Ashley? Um, that the bird can turn its head all the way around. Okay, so you're looking at the head of this animal and saying it can turn it all the way around, a lot of movement, and you're calling this a bird. What do you see that makes you say this is a bird? It also has wings. Okay, so you're looking at some like, of I love it. I, it's, it's the best of both worlds. It's the classroom, it's the wild center, it's outside. It's, they're just learning through all their modalities, which is great. Okay, so we thought the, this questioning strategy could really be applied so to looking at the natural down, world, whether we're looking at a piece of art or we're looking at a screech owl. And that process is, is specifically designed to help um, students navigate through um, reasoning, um, critical thinking, making observations, and also those social skills of how they interact with a group, how do they listen, how do they work with each other. It gives them a chance to express their opinion in a safe manner because they know no one's going to cut down their opinion and no one's going to say that's wrong. One of the ways that we deal with that kind of questioning is through journaling or creating a list of questions after the, um, the session is over that the students then take back to their classroom to research and learn about the answer. So they're learning about the whole scientific process in a very um, safe and neutral um, way that really encourages you know, all the students to participate. Their attention to detail is significant. I've noticed a huge increase in that and that directly applies to their reading and writing paying attention to things. A big part of reading is looking at the pictures and a big part of our comprehension piece in our spelling and writing is illustrating a picture and I've noticed them putting a lot more details into their illustrations from, from observing these. They're more curious. They go back and they research what they found. They're not just happy with an answer anymore, they want to find out why it is. When they're the experts, they're the ones making the observation, this, the discussion is facilitated by us, but it's really the students that are, are owning the knowledge, they're owning their own observations, and they think about this. They take this information home, they look it up, they, they research it, they talk about it. And because these kids live in such a beautiful environment, it gives them another tool to use when they go outside to do their journaling, to do their observation, to pay attention to what's going on. And also, which has always been my big thing, is to become a steward of where they live. If these kids are outside enjoying it, they're going to want to take care of it, and we would like to think that they'd want to come back here and live. <laughs> Being a good listener, being able to communicate effectively, being able to ask questions are all life skills. They are all things that are the skills we need for the 21st century. I think this program makes a difference in, in creating young people that will have those skills for the future. Okay, so you're noticing a lack of the bird paying attention to the two of us.